Welcome to Mars. It is the year 2020. A team of brave astronauts has taken the Explorer 2 spacecraft to the Red Planet in hopes of locating a new colony site and rescuing a crew of original colonists from the Martian surface. As we join our crew, it is a moment of truth as their probe is launched down to the Cassini crater. And yes, the probe has landed successfully. It began as a living memorial to the original Shuttle Challenger crew and a way to continue the educational goals of Crystal McAuliffe. The mission features a spacecraft and a mission control simulator designed around teamwork and hands-on science and math activities. Our number one goal here at the Challenger is to inspire students to get interested in science and math. When students fly their missions to Mars, not only do they have fun, but they also exercise the development of their math, science, and technology process skills. Go! Oh, 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 yeah. Prior to coming to the Challenger Learning Center, we offer training for the teachers to help them prepare their class for their mission. They are also supplied with activities and English language arts exercises for use in the classroom. The side benefit of the program is that after seeing their students collaborating at the Challenger Learning Center, teachers return to their own classroom with many new ideas and techniques for their own pedagogy. Often, we see that students who struggle within the everyday classroom will come alive at Challenger, providing their classroom teachers with new strategies and ideas to motivate them. Oh, this is a great experience. These sixth graders have waited all year to come and do the Challenger Learning Center space flight. They know what their jobs are, and they come here and they carry them out just like real astronauts do. It gives them a good taste of math, science, technology. It's interesting, you can go around with a camera, and they're totally unaware that you're even taking their picture because they are so involved, they are so intent on their job that they have no idea what's going on around them. Ooh, it was more independent, and it felt kind of real sometimes. When they come up here, they're on their own. Now it's time for them to practice those skills. And so we let them fly with it. And all of a sudden, they're taking the knowledge that they had and applying it. And if they make a mistake, then they go back and fix it. And it's great to see them be that independent. We use like computers here. We usually don't use computers in science class. Once I asked the commander and he told me how to do it, it got easier and easier as I went along. Challenger is much more than just a space science or astronomy field trip. The space science here is really just a context for studying broader, more universal curriculum. Within the framework of space travel, the students are learning precise measurement of various interval scales. They learn data manipulation when they calculate mass given an object's volume and known density. They practice latitude and longitude on different types of maps. They practice verbal and written communication skills. Did you guys get that? Yes. Yeah, we're already working on them. Explore 2. This is mission no. control. We no, acknowledge. Over. They use dichotomous keys for rock identification and microscope field of views for estimation and measurement. They interpret graphs, make critical decisions on data, and suggest hypotheses to explain natural phenomena. And perhaps most importantly, students at Challenger get to practice their science process skills. By questioning, measuring, hypothesizing, inferring, classifying, and interpreting, the students are applying the skills they've practiced in the classroom in an authentic assessment setting. 
On top of all this, the students must work together as a team to accomplish their mission. Our motto is that together everyone accomplishes more. And that is true here at Challenger. Teachers will see students of all ability level, learning style, and personality working together to problem solve, while at the same time having the adventure of their lives. And they don't forget where they are sometimes. We've had kids that were totally convinced that they had been to space. Explorer 2, this is Spirit 1. We're ready to blast off and dock with you. Well, that's part of it. That's part of it. It, it helps to preserve the food. And, and, and it doesn't apply that much weight. That's exactly it, Jamie. They don't want to lift off with a very heavy space shuttle. I liked everything about it. It was, it was very fun. And, and there's something for everybody. And everybody's successful. Wow! Woo! Woo!